Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your headphones are plugged in, but the sound is actually coming out of your speakers. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in Control Panel. Best match should come back with Control Panel, so go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons, and then you want to select the sound entry. Underneath playback, select the output device you actually want to be used in your system. So if you're currently selecting your microphone, which might be the default device, go ahead and select your actual speaker output you want. You would select it and then select the set default button. If you don't see it in here, you might have to right click in a blank area and make sure you show disabled devices and disconnected devices. And that's an important point as well. If your speakers are using like external speakers, for example, if they're not plugged in right, or maybe they aren't working properly, there's a chance that Windows would just go back to a different device that it could deliver output sound to, which could definitely explain why your sound is coming out of a different device than what the intended device is. So just a couple things to look at there, guys. And pretty straightforward. You may, like I said, you might have to actually replace your speakers. You might have to get new speakers for your computer. But anyway, pretty straightforward process on that. One further thing we can look into if we open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the playing audio troubleshooter here. And if it's able to find anything, I'd recommend following along with the on-screen prompts. And that should hopefully be about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.